Share your testimony. I think you should. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come Hi, on. Hi, everyone. Um, my name's Andrea. I'm 22 years old. And I would say about, uh, let's see, maybe close to three months ago, I was not interested in church at all whatsoever. And I feel like a lot of us, even the ones that aren't saved, just in general, I feel like we've all had a moment in life where we just absolutely wanted to do nothing with something, whether it was church, anything, school. Um, and I just wanted no part in church, um, or more specifically the church that I was at now. And I just felt the spirit tugging me to come to church. It was the week of Valentine's Day, actually. And um, for a while, it had been, I think, over a year. I had come out of a very toxic relationship that was not serving God at all whatsoever. And um, I ended up, it, the relationship was very on and off. And, um, you know, the, the relationship ended up ending. And for, I would say, three months straight, I was in my room doing nothing. My room was dark. I like I wouldn't even let the light in my room. I I wasn't eating. I didn't even realize I wasn't eating because the spirit of depression was taking over me. And it's scary when you know y you let your mental health get to that point where you just let that spirit of depression take over because I didn't have God. Well, I had God, but I wasn't choosing to go to him for for that for that help because he's the only thing that could help me and can help all of us and can take away that th th those those feelings of hurt that pain so in that time when i i was depressed and and going through all of that stuff i tried to do so many things to feel better and the reality is that no matter what we try to do in this world to to feel happy or to get joy you're not going to feel true joy until you encounter Jesus because that's where Hallelujah. true joy comes from. So long story short, I, um, you know, I was going through all of that. And then, like I said, I, I felt the spirit tugging me to go to church. So I came that week and God knows, even though in that time I was lost, God knows that there was this like deep desire that I just wanted people that I could call you know my friends and now it's not even it's friendship but it's it's brothers and sisters in christ Hallelujah. because you can have friends in this world but if they're not leading you to god what's the point um because at the end of the day you want to surround yourself with people that are going to help build you up and to help you get closer to god so i came to church and that was the first week that i um had met the young adults in the ministry and Yesterday, I just had my birthday. I turned 22. Woo and um, I can tell you right now that y you know how sometimes we have relationships where it's like you feel like you've known that person for like years yeah. and it's only been like what? A few months, a few weeks, whatever. Like Amen. I can't explain Amen. to you in, in these almost three months that I've been going to church, and the people that are standing around me are the people that have, have been the most loyal to me wow, um, than any of the other people that I have had friendships with in my life. Hallelujah. And I just don't want any of you to ever experience the, the depression and the pain that I experienced. I want you guys to find true joy. And I can tell you right now that I, I tried to find that through therapy, through um, even like I've... God bless you. I, I, 
I find ourselves a lot trying to find, you know, validation in so many ways, whether it's a, a relationship. So speaking from a, a fe like a female perspective through a man, um, trying to find validation through that. Or I would even find myself like living vicariously, like through characters, like in movies, which is crazy because it's like, like, the, yeah, it's not real. It's fantasizing like that that's not god and that that's the enemy trying to distract me from what god really wants me to be focused on um so let me go back to what i was saying so yeah what i want for all of you is to just mainly from what i shared with my testimony most importantly i want you guys to know jesus but i i also just want you because for you to stay grounded you also need to surround yourself with people that are going to lead help um, you become closer to God. So I just pray that, you know, whether it's us, whether you feel the need to come up and you need prayer, um, or if you have questions, I just pray that, um, you know, God leads you or God puts you, whether it's, you know, uh, a church near you or so, so God leads someone to you to, uh, share the gospel and to make Jesus known to you and I just pray that you're surrounded by believers and brothers and sisters in Christ uh, that help you build that relationship with Christ if you don't have it. God bless you guys.